Hey YouTube, what's going on? Junior here and I'm back again with another reaction video, back again with another viewer request, and I'm back again for another episode of Friday Filth, my favorite series on this channel where I delve into the most abrasive, most vile, most disgusting, most hard to listen to music acts, and just see what happens. I've been having a lot of fun so far, and today's episode is brought to us by Roomgate Studio. Of course. Subscribe there, please. Watch the short film. It's pretty cool. But also by Dermaniac, who has suggested the song To Hear On, To Hear On, To Hear On by the band Dragged Into Sunlight. I don't think I've ever actually listened to Dragged Into Sunlight before, but I know the name. They show up on metal subreddits all the time and people get patches made for them and all, all this stuff. And I was like, huh, it sounds pretty intense. In my mind, they have a similar sound to Gnaw Their Tongues, if you know who they are. I, I don't know, maybe that's completely wrong. I'm not sure. I looked them up though, and it says that they are a British extreme metal band consisting of four balaclava wearing individuals who haven't disclosed their identity and when they play live, they play with their backs to the audience. Their intense sound combines influences from all major extreme metal genres. That all sounds very intriguing, pretty cool. I'm uh, I'm excited to see what that sounds like. You know, extreme metal is is a is an interesting genre because that kind of label gets slapped on a band when they've transcended past whatever original genre they started in, or in this case where they kind of borrow elements from a bunch of different um, other subgenres. For example, like Cradle Filth. I would consider an extreme metal band. You know, they started off very heavily in the black metal roots, but over time have pulled from symphonic elements, gothic elements, like a lot of different stuff. And I think overall their sound is, you know, black and gothic symphonic metal, or you could just call it extreme metal. I don't know. Either way, pretty cool. I'm pretty excited. I've got the lyrics here. Thank you to Dermaniac for the suggestion. Everybody else, of course. Following their example, leave your suggestions for Friday Filth songs in the comments down below in the next video could be yours and that's pretty cool you're an inhumane bunch of fucking living bastards and bitches and you're going to get your asses nuked in the end <laughs> okay Quite the uh, quite the introduction to the band here. Already in a minute and sixteen seconds, we've seemingly flowed through a a labyrinth of diverse metal subgenres. I can already tell like their influences pulled in from a wide cast net. You're hearing elements of thrash metal, death metal, black metal, grindcore, all these different things all roll up into one package. And they kind of, it's not like it's all being present at once. It's like it'll switch back and forth between different influences. The, the overall lo-fi aspect and general fuzziness does pervade the entire thing. Though in this case, like a lot of black metal, it only adds to the atmosphere and the mystique of it, of it all. Or is that just a comic book character? Is that a real word? I don't know, whatever. <laughs> it's like you're trapped in a fog, like a deep fog, like, like Silent Hill 2, you know? This, this is like, this is Silent Hill music. Cloying, claustrophobic, and and noisy. And I think they did that on purpose. And I think it serves its purpose quite well in creating a very dark, brooding, harsh atmosphere. Hostility seems to be pouring out from the track, you know? Oh, whatever, let's keep going.
and uh, and and that's the song onwards to Huron. I was able to actually finally hear the correct pronunciation while listening to the song. Yippee for me. That last half there really uh, kicked it up a notch in terms of just speed and overall just gnarly aggressiveness, I feel like. It's not difficult to see why you would label this as extreme metal, because otherwise what are you supposed to call it, you know? It would it'd just be one of those memes where it has like 50 different subgenre tags on it. But man, what a what an interesting experience. What a cool song, actually. Yeah, I'm glad I got into it, because it's, it's been a name that's been floating around in my periphery of awareness for a while. They were just kind of like a band that I knew of, but never really listened to. This has definitely convinced me to give them a listen. I saw on their Wikipedia page that their second album is just like one 40 minute long song, which seems pretty awesome. If you look at the lyrics, pretty obscure, much like the band. Spears thrust to the sky above, baptized in tides of blood, in thunderous rage, before the throne of plagues, they speak in swarms. Onwards to Huron, altar of light, all broken, swept aside. And that's it. That's the, those are the only lyrics for the entire song. <sighs> the altar of Huron is a monumental grand altar in the center in, in the ancient quarter of Neapolis in Syracuse, Sicily. It was built in the Hellenistic period by King Hero II and is the largest altar known from antiquity. One argument suggests the altar was dedicated to Zeus and was used to celebrate the Eleutheria festival, which commemorated the expulsion of the last Demonid tyrant, which required a sacrifice of 450 bulls. So a giant sacrificial altar to possibly celebrate uh, the liberation from a tyrant. So perhaps the song is about, loosely, Zeus the Liberator, who was the one who overthrew the tyrant in the battle he fought. So the first verse, spears thrust to the skies above, baptizing in tides of blood, all that stuff talking about the huge battle. And then, you know, when it's talking about onwards to here on altar of light, that is them marching onwards to that location to commemorate their victory. That's the best I can probably do for you guys. I mean, who really knows? But I think that's kind of an interesting theory. That's a cool thing to write a song about. Anyways, that's probably it for today's video, I think. So if you liked it, make sure to like it. If you like the channel, make sure to subscribe. Of course, everybody have a great day. I'll see you next week. And uh, yeah, I don't know. Big changes are coming. Big changes are coming to my life and we'll see how that affects this channel. I'm not gonna, don't worry, I'm not gonna stop putting up videos. We're gonna see, uh, what, there just might be a new schedule in the future. <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say. All right, bye guys.